Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Gemini. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Scorpio. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. 2024, what's the message for Scorpio, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides? Ooh. Mm. Scorpio, two cards here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, you know, avoidance is causing major blockages, refocus. And under this waxing gibbous moon, it's all about refocus, review, readjust replan and these two cards tell you that there could be um, detours and delays up ahead they cause a change of plans they actually cause a change of plans you know you have waxing gibbous moon energy here and today is the waxing gibbous moon that's the first thing i want to point out scorpio you also have aquarius and leo energy here mm-hmm but there's a blockage, there's a delay, detour, causing a change of plans, causing you to refocus possibly in 2024. Something changes that, something happens that causes a major change. Yeah, it causes your focus to change. Okay, what is this? What happens? What changes that causes... Scorpio, their plans to change. What happens? Ace of Fire, something new, a new beginning. Something new begins. Okay. So in this case, okay, Spirit says, shut up, Moody, and get some cards on the table. Just shut up. Okay. Okay, Spirit. Okay, come on. I'm not saying a word so I get some cards here. The card ball. It did. Let me get that. Mm. Okay. Past energy. Okay. I'm. Not, I want to say so. Okay. I'm not scared to like finish. I know. I want to say is a delay a detour or because you choose to avoid something or somebody else chooses to avoid something doesn't mean it's not going to happen wow just because um it didn't happen last year right maybe um somebody was supposed to do something but they didn't do it you know uh, there's a lot of reasons right i needed to review it some adjustments were required there's a lot of reasons for why it didn't happen but something was supposed to happen and um it didn't uh something that somebody desired wanted mm, some type of job it could be it could be love the Ace of Fire is about something somebody was passionate about, wanted, desired, right? You know, sometimes we can want, 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 but if we don't take that action, if we avoid certain steps that we're supposed to take, or if we don't focus, we can cause blockages, delays, detours. Even 
though we desire it, we want it, but we don't go after it. So I'm feeling that, Scorpio. You know, somebody really wants something, but they just didn't do it. They avoided every opportunity. Mm -hmm. Coming up with this excuses. Oh, I had to review it. I have to make adjustments. I have to do this before I can do it. I don't know. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody had a lot of excuses. And so you may feel like you got to change your plans. This has caused a change of plans. Somebody feels like, you know, because of all these delays and everything, I have to do something differently. Mm. This could involve an apology. Somebody has yet to apologize. Somebody's avoided apologizing to you. Um, they have come up with every excuse in the book for why they can't do this. This is somebody, though, that keeps tabs on you. Hmm. So whoever you were supposed to do this gig with, um, be with, there was attraction. Maybe things were hot and heavy in the beginning and it died down. Now this person avoids you. They avoid you. And um, they watch you. <laughs> they watch you. Rather than come to you with an apology, they are avoiding you. Mm. Watching you from a distance. Keeping tabs. Yeah. The other is uh, getting over not having this opportunity, not experiencing this new start because somebody avoided you because they caused delays. That They are making you change your plans. And you know what? Spirit is saying, yeah, it's time for you to surrender how you feel about this. Ooh. Yeah, Moody. I mean, come on. If they're avoiding you, they're causing detours and delays. They just act you from a distance. You know, they know they need to apologize. This is like, come on. they That's going to give them freedom, right? That's going to clear their energy, the apology, the forgiveness. But it doesn't matter. You know, winter is here and they should be doing it now. Right, They should be turning inward, capturing the words that they want to change in order to change your situation. Make you believe that they're being sincere. Bringing your relationship out of darkness into light by communicating something needs to be said. Something needs to be said. And, and it hasn't taken place yet. I mean... This shows that, you know, maybe if they do do it, things will change. Something new can come of this. I think you two may even still feel a spark. There may be something there, but they're avoiding you. Mm. Tell me more, spirit. Why is this person avoiding Scorpio or Scorpio avoiding them? Why? It has to be more than an apology. Why, spirit? Yeah, we know that they're just watching them. But the question is why? Three of Pentacles. They want to work it out with you. They really do. You know, um, yeah, they've been caught in their head. See, you know, that's what happens around the holidays. People get all trapped in their mind thinking of how they caused all of this not to go as planned. I feel like things are not going as planned because somebody's not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're thinking about it. They're all caught in their head. This is somebody, the King of Cups, he has feelings, deep emotions. This is somebody that likes you, that loves you, um, but they've been avoiding you. There's some guilt here. What did this person do? Spirit. What are they apologizing for? What do they want to work it out? What did they do? What did they do to Scorpio? Mm -hmm. What is this about, Spirit? Mm. Mm. They hurt you. Five of Cups. This is somebody who betrayed you. Like you expected them to be there for you when you needed them most and they disappointed you. 
Okay. And and this is somebody who, rather than apologizing, they avoid you now. Ooh. Yeah, because they don't want to come to terms with the fact that they hurt you. They betrayed you. You're disappointed. Mm-hmm. But Spirit says, you know, release. It's time in 2024 for you to release. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, release anybody who doesn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Release anybody who cannot be, reciprocate the love that you're giving, Scorpio. You know, if they can't be there for you when you need them, release them. Because you know what? Even though they disappointed you, I see a new opportunity arising. You have a Nine of Cups here, your wish fulfillment. You have another Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces coming in. Or maybe this is you on the white horse extending your cup to somebody that you may meet that makes you feel happy, makes you feel good, is reciprocal, isn't avoiding you, isn't coming up with excuses and detours for why they can't see you. Yeah, you want something better. Absolutely. And especially when it comes to love under this... Um, Gemini, waxing gibbous moon, you know that you deserve more, Scorpio. You're the death card here, willing to make whatever changes are required to get to the other side of love. You want a different kind of love, a love that is there for you, doesn't hide from you. We'll do, we'll make that apology, we'll ask for your forgiveness, we'll humble yourself when they are wrong. Not sit back and spy on you, watch you, think about what they want to say, but not say it. No, you want to love that they're ready to extend their cup. It's reciprocal, like I said. Mm. Something that you have something solid with. The Ten of Pentacles is stable. You know, this is a stable relationship that two people share. They're rooted, you know, they're strong like a tree because they apologize, because they don't avoid accepting their responsibility in a situation. Hmm. I think that if you hold out for this Ten of Pentacles by springtime of next year, you could very well have that. Tell me. Tell me more about love for Scorpio in 2024, Spirit. Mm. Well, for some of you, the apology works. Mm -hmm. Because there's rekindling here. That means there was something in the past. It died down and it's brought back to life. So this Ace of Fire was real. It was real. In this case, if there's rekindling in 2024, this Ace of Fire was real. When they come to you, the apology is sincere. And the Three of Pentacles, you guys work it out. They give you their cup. It's reciprocal. And there was hope. Things are rekindled. You know, there's a magical moment. And it makes that apology have impact. Yeah. For others of you, it says avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. <laughs> yeah, you are looking for the transformation. They come with the apology and spirit encourages you always to forgive because that clears the slate, that clears the way for you to move forward. And that's what Spirit says in this case. For others of you, you actually accept the apology, um, but you don't fall for the trap. You are not lured back in. No, uh-uh. No, you're not. You make the decision to move forward to transform in search of the Ten of Pentacles. And by next year, spring, it looks like it's very possible that it could come in. Mm-hmm. I also see some of you just working on yourself with the seven of pentacles. It's like you're investing in yourself. You know, you're putting in the effort to keep going. Um, you're solidifying situations, your situation. Nine of cups is here getting in touch with yourself. You smile a lot more sad. You can be very fixed. You are a fixed sign, I believe. Yes, you are. 
kind of emotional. You know, you can kind of go either way. But in this case, I see you avoiding the trap and making a better decision. Tell me more about this mm. love in 2024. Ooh. Mm. Whoever's been avoiding this apology, um, using every excuse in the book, Spirit is like, don't let guilt get in the way of happiness because you need to come through just to clear your own air. Just to clear your own air. You know, for those of you, life is all about your strengths and your weaknesses being tested. So I, that's what I feel, Scorpio. I feel like, you know, you'll be tested where love is concerned, but I think you're going to pass it. I think you're going to choose you. 15.55 on the clock when I said that, because transformation is what you're about most of you are going with this change you're going to make the choice love is card is choice to transform anyone who's avoided you or delayed you in the past is out yeah i i just feel for the majority of you that's what is going to happen mm-hmm Okay, spirit. What else? Final cards. What should Scorpio do while they're waiting? While they're going through this transformation? What's it important for Scorpio to remember? Mm -hmm. Going through the choice. Yeah. Rely on your family. Some of you have a great family that's very supportive. Of course, this time of year is the time you're spending time with your family. But, you know, next year, plan family re events. Um, do things, uh, barbecues outside. Yes, yeah, spreading the love. You know how to do that. Spend time with your family. Movement in 2024 is what it's all about. Transformation is going from point A to point B. That requires movement. Yeah, that just solidifies again what I was saying. I want some final cards. Please, Spirit. For Scorpio. For 2024. Mm. Here we go. That rekindling. That rec reconciliation mm. we know that whoever's making this apology wants reconciliation three of pentacles here they want to move in that direction they want to extend their cup i don't know what you're going to do about that uh in 2024 this card did fall mm. see if you encounter any type of jealousy any inkling that they're a wasp, but that they could sting you at any time. If you feel that, <laughs> you definitely want to accept the apology, forgive them, but focus on your transformation. Make a choice to move towards what you want, Scorpio. You deserve it. And I see it in the spring next year. You can have what everybody wants, the Ten of Pentacles, something stable. Keep working. Keep working on you. You'll know what to do. Listen to your intuition. If you were able to identify, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and definitely leave me a comment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think transformation is the answer. Most of this reading said that's what your choice should be where love is concerned in 2024 for sure. Choose you choose you and once you make that choice know that you're going to be tested all right avoid any traps this looks like it could be a trap this apology coming in but you again you're being told to let it come on in so that you can clear the slate forgive them all right scorpio if you were able to identify like subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment let's pray for your transformation, your sign. You are the death card. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever, ever, ever, and ever. Amen. Scorpio, until the next moon phase. Namaste.